Continuing coverage now for you, Knox County reporting its first death as a direct result of the virus. Knox County Health Department Director Dr. Martha Buchanan saying the victim who died over the weekend was hospitalized and belonged to a high risk group for complications. The total number of cases in Knox County now at 57. That includes 17 who have now recovered. The statewide total now at 1,834. That includes at least 13 deaths and 148 hospitalizations. We're learning more from the Knox County Health Department about the first fatality here. WAT6 on your side, reporter Kirsty Crawford joining us now live from her home with all the latest. Kirsty. Bo, Lori, we're being told that the patient uh, who died in Knox County was infected with COVID-19 through community spread. Now, I asked Dr. Buchanan if she knew of any hot spots or common places where they are finding uh, community spread, and she said at this time they are not. Uh, but that being said, Buchanan and other county and, of course, Governor Lee uh, are urging for people to stay at home, stay out of the public as much as possible. She says we really don't know if social distancing is working until we actually see the number of COVID-19 cases plateau or decrease instead of rise. Buchanan says anecdotally, social distancing works and data from past pandemics show it works, which is why they are asking people to do it now. Many of you have been sending us uh, pictures or questions after seeing many people using the local parks while we're supposed to be staying away from the public. Dr. Buchanan says it's good to go to the parks and get exercise, but still listen to health officials guidelines. Even if you're at the park, they don't go away. They don't go away if, if, if at home or at the park or at work. They're still in place and they're still important. And again, I would also say, if you're sick, don't go to the park. Just because it's outside doesn't mean it's safe and that you can't make someone else sick. Now, I also spoke with Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs about the importance of social distancing. He tells me he likes to call it physical distancing. We can remain social. We should be calling and texting or getting in touch with our family members and our friends, making uh, checking in on their well-being, but make sure that we keep a physical distance. We can still be social. That's why he likes to call it physical distancing. Reporting live in Knoxville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE6 on your side. All right, Kirsty, thank you very much. And, you know, we know so many businesses struggling right yeah. now because of the social distancing. Yeah, remember, many of our favorite eateries are offering delivery or takeout, and you can shop many local retailers online.